Okay, so I wanted to show you guys this, my Afria order. I just opened it up. Um, I wanted to double check this is what it was. But, so first time ever I ordered Afria, um, on my Afria prescription, I got to order Soleil cartridges. So I said that before, that I so wish that I could get those products, the rec products on my prescription because they actually had a balance that I could use um, and I found worked for me. It's finally here, I can do it. <laughs> so I got a balanced cartridge, which is the one I have been using uh, most frequently. It's a great half and half. Um, so I got another one of those to try and then I got this one, it's a gather. Now I've never had this by Soleil before, so it's going to be a trial. I'm not sure what it will be good for. I kind of have to do some reading up on the terpene profiles just to see what, um, how it'll help. But super exciting that I can order it on my Afria prescription, the rec products, because it's cheaper. <laughs> And it comes directly through and it's, it's nice that I like I have a prescription it's nice to actually be able to use it um, rather than having to turn to rec products to still get the same things um, so yeah so cool awesome so I can't wait to try these out um, I just wanted to share this because after I finally listened they put their rec products on their prescriptions so stoked thank you thank you Afria. cartridge it actually says happy hour on top of the ad on the Sole website now this is a 7 to 1 THC CBD sativa that I can now get on my prescription I said that previous when I was opening and everything else that you've just previously seen now what I want to do after trying this, I've only had this cartridge, this is the first one, I haven't even gone through it all yet, so this is very new. Normally I will try to do like one to two cartridges before I actually give an official review so I know how it's affecting my body. But I wanted to talk about this one just because it's very similar and exciting too because it is on the prescription now and it's it's a rack product that you can get on a prescription. So that I'm just super excited about to begin with so that's why I'm doing it probably a little bit earlier than I normally would um, but other than that it's mostly just because I think I've got a fairly good handle on how it affects me and what the feeling I'm getting from it now I want to talk about the flavor of this cartridge it is supposed to be a fruity and uplifting berry watermelon flavor now, if you were born in the 90s or if you have ever had a Flintstones vitamin, the kids' Flintstones vitamins, that is exactly what this tastes like to me. <laughs> it took me a really long time to actually be able to place the taste for myself. Now, I don't find the cannabis actually... The flavored stuff is good and bad. Now, it doesn't taste like cannabis. It doesn't smell like cannabis. So when you're using it, in a setting where it's not like socially acceptable to be smoking or whatever it's it's a little bit easier to use because it's not you, you could pass it off as like a cigarette kind of thing you can kind of like no one will even really notice whereas um when you get like a really hard strong cartridge and you're smoking it, it doesn't really make a difference at all it just smells and tastes like weed 
Now, with that being said, I'm giving you my opinion as far as how it affects my body. Everyone is different. Everyone has a different opinion of things. So make your own judgments. Give it a shot. <laughs> if you're interested, I mean, go for it. But these are just my, um, my experiences and what I've kind of realized or how it's affected my body. So I want to say with this, I use sativa to help with minimizing my nausea and to help increase my hunger, um, to make me more hungry throughout the day, to help me convince myself to eat more, I guess is the best way to put it. Uh, so for me, I find I, the peppermint really helped my migraines when I tried the, the peppermint cartridge. And I've, this is the, this is the last of the Soleil cartridges I haven't tried yet. Now the balanced cartridge, I don't find it affects my eating so much. I don't find it makes me nauseous. I don't find it helps me. It's, 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 a, it's more of a CBD, so I don't find it really affects a lot. Now it does have a little bit of a flavor to it, but I don't find it is as strong as the gather cartridge or the uh, unplugged cartridge. The unplugged is lavender. Now I really love the flavor of that because I love lavender, but if I'm nauseous, it's not helpful at all. It, it turns my stomach completely I, it, it's not good. My, it doesn't help me with the hunger and it doesn't help me with the nausea. It does help you with sleep, which is what it is, I guess, supposed to do. It's supposed to help you relax and rest. So in that way it does, but the flavoring does not help with the, um, the making me want to eat anything. That's for sure. And that's kind of what I found with this as well. So the flavor is good and it's nice if I'm just nauseous throughout the day and I'm just trying to get through my day and I just don't want to throw up. <laughs> so uh, this is, is good for that. Uh, whereas if I'm trying to convince myself to get hungry and like, okay, it's it, we're ramping up, it's time to eat dinner, things like that. This is not something I'm going to turn to because of the flavoring. And I think that's why, just because is something about it. I don't know if it's the, the the flavoring that's used or what it is, but it just, it turns my stomach as far as making me want food. It doesn't make me hungry in the least. So not good for hunger, does help with the nausea factor, like the not throwing up it does help, but the actual wanting to be hungry or eat things, the gather cartridge is not exactly one I would choose for that purpose. Personally, a final review for the gather cartridge is I will probably get it again to help with the nausea. I probably won't get it regularly. This might be a once in a while, but I probably won't rotate this in as far as my regulars that I go to on a regular basis, but this will probably be a once in a while. I'll give it a shot. Uh, give it a shot. Try it. Let me know how it works for you. Um, I'd love to know the difference between the two and how it affects you. Like and share this please. If you know anyone who is using cannabis or first time or is interested in using it for medical purposes or is just curious and um, yeah, wanna share stuff or wanna connect, I'm always here and willing to chat with you. So feel free, like, share my page and make sure you subscribe.